Hey, gamers! What's up? Welcome back to the channel. A few days ago I tested the Eden emulator on my Mali GPU device. And, yeah, of the games were crashing hard. But then out of nowhere too, of my awesome subscribers dropped some secret settings in the comments. I tried them, and boom, the performance instantly leveled up. So today, going to show you how to properly set up Eden emulator, the right way, step by step. And of course, I'll reveal those powerful settings that finally made everything run smooth, even on a 6GB RAM device. Plus, we're also going to test some of the latest Nintendo Switch games and see how far we can push this emulator. This video is gonna be fire guys, watch it from start to end. And if you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button for more insane content. Alright then, let's get straight into this amazing video. First of all guys you have to search Google Eden Emulator GitHub. And this emulator is an open source simulator so. You will see it inside GitHub and it is available in all platforms like Windows, Mac OS, Linux and you have to scroll down to the Android section. And this new update was released 2 days ago and you will get 3 variants in Android. Standard, Optimize and Legacy. I'm going to try the standard version right now so quickly try it out. Let's do the setup. First of all, open the emulator, start the gate and grant permission. Permissions will be allowed, then by clicking on select keys you will have to select pro.key. Then you will also have to select the framework, so select the latest framework file. After selecting it, click on add games to add your games. And in whichever folder the game is kept, by doing use this folder, we will allow and deep scan. After doing this, you will click OK and then continue, and your emulator will be set up here and after this. Go to settings, here you have to go to GPU driver manager, now Mali GPU device. And in the latest Snapdragons, you can also run games from the system GPU driver, but if your device supports G, then click on fetch to get the recommended driver for your device. You can see that it will be available here and you can also add it from here, currently I am using system G driver. To run the game from here only, then go back and go to advanced settings, here under graphics. You can lower the resolution if you have low RAM or a low end device. I would recommend 0.5x, I am keeping it at 0.75x, then stretch the aspect ratio to window. That's it for you, these are the settings for now, best settings for Mali GPU will be ahead. I will share that first of all I test the new games, so here recently Tomer and Definitive. This edition has come and I think this game should run on most devices as well. The performance was better than expected, the graphics were also very good. I also did not see any overheating issues, there is a lot of overheating in Windows. Yes, but here, is no heating at all, so in this you will actually feel longer. You will be able to do gaming for a period of time, then after this I tried another latest title. The one that recently came to the Switch was Dragon Ball The Sparkling Zero, but unfortunately. This game could not run here, at least it booted but I am seeing crashing issues here. I got stuck getting this game, I think it will turn if the driver is suitable for devices. Then finally I tried Red Remedy, it went very smoothly. I didn't notice any lag or graphical glitches, but I still had to play the Redemption mobile version. We will wait for it to be more optimized and its on-screen control layout will be improved. It is also going to be very good, but for now, if you want to play this game, so. You can run it very easily through this simulator. Now comes the turn of medium GPU device. I have only 6 GB RAM for my Mali GPU device use UN22 Eden version and it works properly. Also set versus sync mode to mailbox, I also have a Mali GPU device. And I'm playing attack on Titan 2 properly, ok so right now we're on the Antutu version. And I won't try it, but I should definitely set the viewing mode to mailbox in the graphics settings. Always restart your device before playing high RAM demanding games. RAM gets cleared and performance increases and the game does not crash in mid game. I have Mali 8300 Ultra and it works for me ok so this time I changed my phone. I have also rebooted it brother, now let's see, the games crash a lot last time. Crashing issues were being seen in every game, so the first one was Dragon Ball Fighters game. I tried it here, my game was crashing at this very moment, but right now you can see it. If the game is working properly then, seriously both of these tricks work. If you want, you can try these, I definitely got results from this. You have a device which has only 6GB RAM and you must be knowing this. 6GB RAM is literally the minimum RAM requirement to run the latest emulators. If it's less, then you will not be able to run it at all, then after this attack on Titan 2, I ran this game. You already know that these crashing issues were being seen after the cutscene but, at least I am able to run my game. I know the frame rates are not playable at all but still, at least once your game starts, you can also install it inside your Mali GPU device or, you can try these settings in your 6GB device, this will definitely help you. It's going to happen, friend, that was it in today's video. I hope you liked today's video. If you like the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel for more such great videos. Do it too and share your best in the comments. Share the settings, friend, maybe they will be useful to me. I will meet you in the next video, till then bye, sayonara.